Welcome back to the channel. This is the new setting for the channel, pretty much. I mean, of course, we're going to do outdoor workouts and uh, maybe some hikes, things like that. But for the most part, we're going to be in here training, building ourselves better than we were before. I'm 40 years old. Uh, there are a lot of questions on how I keep myself this, in this shape and in this health. And uh, I'm going to show you that. So, channel is going to take a little turn. It was technically, you know, I've already explained this, but it was always supposed to be this. Um, it was Mountain Task Force. Uh, originally, it was the name for a brand of supplement. Uh, believe it or not, that's where that name came from. Um, you know, good useful uh, supplements for people who do outdoor activities anyways it kind of turned into guns because guns get views and uh as much as i like that youtube doesn't like that it makes it extremely difficult to be a, a full-time youtuber and to get where you need to go so I am here where I feel like I'm doing something for you. I feel like I'm providing a service. Other men who are 40 years old, even older, or going to be 40, I know how that feels when you're going to be 40, dealing with you know the realization that you're getting old. Life is almost halfway done. Um, you can come in here. You can come in here. You can come to my channel and see some motivation, some positivity, and know that my story is not anything different than what anybody else's story can be. Um, I'm not special. In fact, I'm kind of a small dude. Um, my legs, I have the smallest legs in the world. I'll stand up against anybody, um, but my legs are extremely small and that is a that's an insecurity of mine my legs are a huge insecurity of mine luckily 40 years down the road um, i've made turned myself my body into something that i'm happy and proud of looking in the mirror so that gives me the confidence to override the insecurities that i still have about my legs but they're still there you just got to build up that positivity and that mentality of confidence and that'll get you through things like that. But I want every dude to be able to take their shirt off when they go swimming, uh, when it's hot, you know, there's a community beach party. I want you to be able to take your shirt off and be confident, not have any insecurities. So that's kind of the attitude of this channel now is you know knowing that it's tough being a man it's tough taking care of a family and living your dreams and pushing forward for success all at the same time while not losing you and uh, keeping yourself healthy so that you live a long time so that you can take care of your family you can't run a mile. I've always said this, but if you can't run a mile, what good are you? What help can you be if you can't run a mile? So push yourself, get yourself into a good physical state so that you're in a good mental state, and then you can be of the best benefit to the people around you. That's how I look at it. But um, today, I just uh, wanted to let you know a little bit about my journey and, and I hate to say this, but steroids are a big part of my journey. Uh, I'm a little guy, right? I'm a I'm I'm jockey size, <laughs> right? If I don't lift every day and eat uh, and really take care of myself, I shrink right down to like 130. I could probably go sub 130s pretty easily. Um, and I know that's another insecurity of mine. I know that there are plenty of men, grown men, who are my size, but I am constantly around other men who are much bigger than I am, uh, especially when you're, you know, someone that 
of in my life, like live the life that I did. You're not a lot of big dudes. You're not a lot of big badass dudes. So what do you do when you're the smallest one out of all your buddies and everybody who's going to the gym at that time? You find something that makes you bigger. <laughs> you want to get there as quick as possible. Maybe even in my case, I was so small that maybe it, 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 there are some sort of benefits to the steroid juice because so it started out uh, when I was 18 years old. I started going to the gym. Of course, start going to a hardcore gym. People are, are powerlifting, and I weighed 114 pounds. This was, I was 18 years old, ninth grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, something like that. 11, I don't know. I didn't, didn't really finish that portion of my life, but uh, I was 114 pounds, and I started going to the gym. Uh, immediate, almost immediately, the word steroid came up. Uh, there are a lot of big guys. It's a hardcore gym, like I said, power lifters, and um, it, it was just around. So the way I started was I went as what I thought was as hard as I could without, right? I went as far as I could without. In reality, I should have gone, never done it, but I should have gone years before I started. But I started young, I started very quickly. So about the time I was 19. So I started lifting when I was 18, going to the gym. By the time I was 19, I was taking Diana Ball. So the original D Ball, you know, not the, not the fake stuff that's called, actually called D Ball. <laughs> like, this is like Diana Ball, this is the real stuff. Um, and it's oral. It's because I was really small and I was really uh, lean. I, I still don't have any legs, nothing to, no, no butt fat. I know it's intramuscular, right? But my muscles were minuscule. So there's a lot of potential to do fascia damage and things like that. Uh, so I just stuck with an oral, uh, the original Diana ball, and started to gain some weight. That stuff kind of blows you out, holds water. So you start seeing those results, you know, 19 years old. It's like, give me more of that. Um, and eventually, I think after a year or so, I was going to move and we weighed me and I weighed 140, 148, 144. So I was 114 and I weighed 144 and I'd get, so I gained 30 pounds in, I started when I was 19 and before I was 20, I had gained 30 pounds. And that just kind of motivated my workout journey from there. So keep going. We won't get into every little thing that I did, but I was an avid gym goer. Uh, when I could find it, I would partake in some testosterone, but only when I could find it. Uh, it's tough to find when you're a little older, especially back in the day. And a little, by a little older, I mean in your 20s. Like young kids could probably find it, <laughs> as, as bad as that sounds. The younger you are, the probably the, the more delinquent friends you have. So it's easier to find. Uh, and then in my 30s, still doing it on and off, cycling the way I should, doing it healthy. Uh, and I got to my biggest, uh, I'll show a picture of that right up here, my biggest. And for me, my biggest was right around 170. I was like 172, 175. And that's really big for me. And... I have to admit that I did feel not healthy. I had red cheeks and my cholesterol was high. Uh, and like Rich Piana used to say, I kind of felt like a walking biohazard. You know, I'd 
it was definitely all of the drugs. Of course, it's the eating six or seven times a day. It's working out every day. Yes. But I started thinking to myself, am I just going to do this for the rest of my life? Like, do I have to depend on, do, do I have to depend on steroids for the rest of my life and eating seven times a day in order for me to look like this? And if so, fuck that. Like, I don't want to have to depend on that. I don't want to be that Kevin Maroney who start taking on little drugs and work out and you look amazing enough to jump on a stage. But then as soon as you stop, you shrink right back down and look like a normal everyday dude. And getting older, having children, the, and especially I have a 16 year old son now who is going to be influenced by that stuff because he's into football and wrestling. So I need to set a good example in that sense. So I feel as though I can guide him on that. And then we'll get to that point where I can finally say, it's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Just take the time to grow the way you should rather than blow yourself up and try to maintain it for 20 years. Because trying to maintain something for 20 years that your body is still not used to is not healthy. And you're only going to last those 20 years. I, had gy I have gyno from... When I was younger, just jumping on the D-bomb and jumping off, not cycling down like I should, uh, just being young and dumb. And then some of, the, some of the testosterones that I took, I never did anything worse than that. I think I, I took a little DECA. One time I did a stack of DECA and test and when I was at my biggest. Uh, but again, I don't like that feeling of not being healthy. I like to be look and feel healthy, not just look big. It's not a good feeling when your heart palpitates and you can feel that palpitation. You know, when you, you shouldn't get winded running, you know, your Nick Walkers and your big Ramis. You want to. This is America. You can do whatever you want to do. But keep your health to be happy with your body when you're at my age, when you're 40. I suggest working out, eating right, exercising, dieting, and living a healthy lifestyle. That will get you where you need to be. It'll even out. Like the steroids have you off the line, right? They got you, they got, they're a V8 off the line. But you'll catch them in the long run. You'll catch up so that, that you'll close that distance so that 20 years down the road, you both look the same. Just one went the easy road and one took the hard road. You got to decide which is the easy road and which is the hard road. Um, and yeah, be safe.